Please be joined by head coach of the South Plains College Rodeo Program, Mr. Kerry Doster. Coach, week two, uh, you put eight in the finals last week at Port Talis. Came home with an event tied on bareback. Uh, kind of talk about your thoughts on uh, week one, some of the things you're uh, excited about. I was overall I was pretty pleased with the uh, performance of all our kids, especially the freshmen that came in. Uh, if you look at it on paper, our women's team looked like they didn't do much, but we didn't really draw very good as far as the ground. We were kind of in the first part of that rodeo with a lot of rain and mud and slowed down our barrel horses and kind of didn't help our goat tires there, but uh, they all did a pretty good job coming in there. I, I was pleased with their performance. Of course, we'd always like to do better, but overall it was pretty good. Yeah. Cooper goes and wins you know, his second straight uh, rodeo. Kind of talk about uh, how he's kind, of, he's kind of developing, what that means for the men's side. Oh, he's, I mean, he's, he'll, he'll be pretty solid for us. We keep him healthy. As long as he draws the good horses, I mean, that's, that's good. He's pretty solid in that bareback ride. And that, and that always helps any men's team, you know, when you have that, you can kind of count on that. So hopefully he keeps drawing good and riding good, and yeah. we'll go from there. Your team ropers, you got three in the finals last week. Kind of talk about, you know, how they progressed. Hopefully, you know, got a couple sophomores in there. Yeah, they, they did really well. Uh, We've always, we've had, the last two years, we've always wound up fourth place in the year in a team rope. We hadn't, we hadn't taken any team ropers to nationals, but this year we're pretty strong in that event. Uh, Casey does a really good job with those kids, and uh, I f hope that we kind of keep going that direction and get some of those guys qualified. Yeah. On the women's side, Ellie goes in there, she qualifies in two events, uh, scores in one. How pleased were you with the women's side and uh, some of the things you're looking for this week? Well, I was pleased with Ellie. Her horse really worked good in the mud the other night. She had a good run there. Uh, didn't have as much luck in the short round, but she did really good for us this weekend. She was only one out. She, she almost made it back in all three events. She was yeah. wound up 11th, I think, in the breakaway open. Uh, she, and so she'll come back having another strong performance. Uh, Caitlin didn't have much luck over there, but she, I, I feel that she's going to turn it on this week. And uh, those other girls were Shaylin and all the girls. Shaylin was right there and the, right there on the bubble. A lot of our girls' team was right there on, on the bubble in the breakaway and the goats. And uh, I think this week we'll have a little better luck and uh, have a little better outcome. Yeah. Battling a little weather today before you head up to Alpine. Any final thoughts on this one? No. I mean, just hope everybody's down there safe and uh, see what we get done. Yeah. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck and uh, see what happens. All right. Thank you.